It's only a matter of time before I get rid of the police. What do you think of that, Elle? This is my perfect victory! That's right! I win! So look, in anime, there's always going to be good guys, and there are always going to be bad guys. But in anime, things could get swayed. And sometimes the people who are supposed to be the good guys end up being the bad guys. And the people who are supposed to be the bad guys end up being the good guys. It seems like it's a common theme in anime to always be able to relate to the villain. And I think it's kind of good for anime. Because in Demon Slayer, when you give all of these villains these crazy backstories, you kind of understand why they became demons. And then Naruto, when Pain is trying to erase the fucking world of all things, you kind of understand why Pain is trying to do that. But in anime, there's always a specific type of individual who you cannot relate to. In every single anime, there's always a crash out <laughs> and i just wanted to ask you guys who do you think is the biggest crash out in all of anime now if you don't know what a crash out is i'm gonna show you this video and hopefully after seeing these characters you could kind of identify what a crash out is so grab your snacks grab your popcorn give this video a thumbs up and let's get straight into it Now, after seeing that video, if you still don't know what a crash out is, let me pull up the Urban Dictionary definition of crash out. According to them, a crash out is to go insane and or do something stupid. It means to get really mad or upset and lose all of your self-control. To willingly or unwillingly enter into a situation knowing the outcome will not be good. Now that you read the definition, let me give you a specific, a very, very specific example of a crash out. <laughs> now everything that was in my way is gone and everyone else still believes in me It's only a matter of time before I get rid of the police. What do you think of that, El? This is my perfect victory! That's right! I win! Oh, brother. This is probably one of the biggest crash outs I've seen in anime. Now, I know we got our occasional rage moments, but if you think about everything that's going down in this specific scene, then you will understand exactly why it is top tier in crash outs. Allow me to break it down for you. <laughs> First off, it's this evil laugh right and here. And it's not just a laugh. You got to take into consideration the location, the setting. This man hated L so much, he pulled up to his gravesite and started laughing. And this cynically. is especially bad because it's in public. It's a public place. Because at any given moment, an innocent, random bystander could have walked by and seen this. Imagine you're visiting the grave of your deceased one and you see someone laughing cynically at someone's grave. Light was supposed to be this calm and collected, cheerful student. And here he is laughing at the death of someone. Not only that, he's sitting there talking about how it was his perfect victory, how he won. Bro forgot all about the fact that he was a criminal and just started screaming and shit. But that's not even the worst part. He got on both hands and knees and started twerking in front of this man Gray and cussing him out in front of everybody. Yeah. Bro, look at Ryuk. Even Ryuk in this very moment was scared. He didn't know what the hell to do. And that is an example of a crash out. Now, I know the crash out y'all was thinking about. You guys were thinking about Dolph Flamingo, right? Dolph Flamingo's crash out is what you would consider to be a violent crash out. Now, if you are unfamiliar with Dolph Flamingo, let me put y'all on game. Dolph Flamingo was a celestial dragon, him and his family. In a world of One Piece, this is the highest form of human being. A celestial dragon was basically a king or a god even. 
In the presence of a celestial dragon, you are to bow your heads, don't say shit to them, and respect them in every single way possible. Everybody feared the celestial dragons. They were rich beyond their mind. They had everything that they could have ever wanted. They had slaves, they had good food, they had whatever they wanted. Now, if you're a regular person, you absolutely hate these motherfuckers. You can't stand them. But if you're a celestial dragon, then shit, you living pretty damn good. And Dolph Flamingo was one of them. Until his dad decided that he no longer wanted the title of a celestial dragon and he wanted to live with the commoner. Now you gotta remember, everybody hates celestial dragons for the way that they treat people. All of the celestial dragons was telling him like, what the hell is wrong with you, bro? These people don't like us. Are you an idiot? But Dolph Flamingo's dad did not listen. He decided that he wanted to live a regular life with regular people. Now, if he was smart and he kept his mouth shut, then everything would have been good. He could have done exactly what he wanted to do. But instead, he wanted to let the entire world know that he used to be a celestial dragon. And people did not fuck with that. And this is the first time we see Dolph Flamingo crash out as well. Now, this was a crash out the same as Light, so although it was a little different. Dolph Flamingo gets to telling people how he's so much better than them because he was a celestial dragon. He starts screaming at them, calling them peasants, calling them trash. Literally crashing out. Let me remind you of the definition. To lose control of your emotions and to act without fear of the consequences of your actions. And the consequences did come. Because his dad wanted to be a dickhead, they just kept getting put in difficult situations after difficult situations after difficult situations. You know it's bad when you see one of the biggest menaces ever crying puddles of tears. And that didn't matter to the civilians because they were still beating their asses just for trying to get a piece of bread. And things did not get better from then on out. His mom ends up getting sick and she eventually dies. And you know who he blames. His stupid ass father. No, buddy, it didn't stop there. The civilians ended up crashing out and hanging these dudes. They were honestly really going to kill them. But Dolphy crashed out and got them out of that situation. But he crashed out again and ended up killing his father. Now, although Dolphy's crash out was definitely worse because, I mean, come on, it was a violent crash out. It was justified. I mean, my boy then went through a lot of shit. Now this crazy ass nigga Light would just be crashing out for no reason. Bro would literally be in his room genuinely tweaking out for no fucking reason at all. So although Dolph Flamingo's crash out seemed worse, it actually wasn't as bad as Light's because even though he's up there tweaking, screaming, and yelling, he was still killing people. But yeah, I'ma go ahead and give it to Light Yagami as the biggest crash out in anime. But y'all go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below who y'all think is the biggest crash out. And remember, you can make me famous if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But peace.